guys, you're good Ashley here, and I'm here with my Owl Crate unboxing for the month of August. Um, she's my parents, the mailman just dropped it off, so that's why I'm a little bit kind of groggy, and my parents is not the best right now. Um, I will have a Weight Watcher update for you guys, and everything um, coming up on Sunday, because some interesting things have happened. So, this box feels a little bit lighter than the other ones. Um, well, this is my second one, but... I just pre-cut it just so that way we can do it. So let's open it up. And this is what it looks like. My cat's over here because she loves to be involved and everything. And the, I'm not going to put the spoiler card, but the card for this, the theme was, uh, I think, Royals, right? Uh, uh, Ruthless Royals. And let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five things. I don't want to spoil myself. So let's. We've got some worms, which are always fun to play with, and have my cat destroy. So the first thing I see, oh, this is heavy. It's an Owl Crate exclusive. I don't think it's Owl Crate. It's a heavy pink little bag with an Owl Crate on it. And oh, it's a mirror. It says, may you always find beauty, the bells. I believe it's a mirror. Yep, it's a mirror. Timer and blind, you guys, is what I'm filming in with. You can see. That's cute. I mean, mine's a little scratched up. Oh, it has a film on it. Okay. So, that's really cute. That's going to definitely go in my purse. I like that a lot. I'll, I'll let you know at the end where, every, where everything is from. But I like that. That's very cute. It comes with a little bag. And then this is... Genuine Agnite? Agite? It's just a, oh, it's a ring. Let's take it out. And it's an adjustable ring. It's a very chunky ring. That's what it looks like. I think it's Agite. Okay. It's genuine. That's really pretty. Maybe it's from the book that we're getting. I don't know. There's that. Put that back in there. Um, I already see the book. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. From Crafty Van, we get Maleficent, the Queen of Hearts, and... I think it's Snow White or the um, Evil Queen of Snow White. I forget her name. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's got the. That's cute. I like that. Magnetic bookmarks. So you have Maleficent, um, Queen of Hearts, and then Snow White. And in the back, you have them in the back. The Old Lady of Snow White, the Queen of Hearts, and the Dragon. That's really cute. That's from Crafty, Crafty Van. I like that. I knew we were going to get some kind of magnetic bookmarks because of Crafty Van. Those are really cute. I like those. Oh, this is the, I think this is, yeah, this is the Holly Black one. Is it a box? It says, I like for things... I like for things to happen, stories to unfold, and if I can't find a good enough story, I make one. Holly Black. And then it says, I am mere mortal, and you a prince of fairy. You have much to lose, and I have nothing. And, I believe, and it's like a, a tin. And it's a shape as a book. And then it's, inside it says, sharpen your blade, harden your heart. And that's where you could put like all your, I mean, for me, I might put like some bookmarks on it or something, but that's really cute. Oh, I like that. And then it has like, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. Um, then we have our pin, which is what the card was. A Royal Assassin's Tea Towel. What, what's a tea towel for? Like, is that like a dish towel? I'm not 
sure if I like this box or the other box better so far. This is Royal Assassin's Tea Towel Owl, Owl Crate Exclusive. Machine wash cold with light colors. Hang to dry. Let me just pull it so you can see it. Oh, I just did it. This says she had a... She had... She had often wished for adventure. Hold on. She had often wished for adventure for for old spells and wicked kings. Throw on a glass. I might actually hang this onto the wall. Actually, that's really cute. Let's go with it. You guys like that? I'm actually going to hang that on the wall and not use that as a tea towel. I don't, I don't really think people are going to use that as a tea towel. I think they're going to hang that up more than actually. Some worms. I believe our art prints uh, from Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows. And as of the back of it, and it says, I wanted freedom in the same way I wanted my next breath. An unspoken but constant desire. That's very cute. And the book. Oh, I love this exclusive cover. Oh my god. This exclusive cover is so much better than the actual cover. Oh my god. Okay, the actual cover had like the two girls on it. I think we shouldn't be able to actually see it. So let me show you. The actual cover goes like this. So the, the two girls on it, okay? This is the cover that we got for our pay exclusive members, which, oh my god, it's amazing. And we get a bookmark, which I love to use the actual bookmarks with the book. And it's like texturized, so I'm definitely going to use this when I read, which is exactly what I'm going to do after this. Because I'm waiting for this book to come in. So, this is the cover that we got. Look at that. Race and Fury. I mean, you wouldn't tell that it was like, I mean, I don't like people on the basis of covers, but, and then we get our notes, so. You would normally get this cover, technically, so, but instead we get this cover. So which cover do you guys like better? And then it's signed. And then, let's take a look at the other stuff that's in here. Yeah, so you would have got that one if you bought it in store, but we got that one. I, mean, I think I like the one that we got. And then we got a hint for next month. Ah, it is Master, the theme of September's box is Masters of Disguise. Flip for a sneak peek, and it says every September box will include an exclusive item from artist Kara Kofsky. And I also heard on their Instagram that it's gonna have Harry Potter theme Marauders map something in it. It's like the biggest item. Um, so let's go through and see where everything was from. So, okay, you got the pocket mirror inspired by the bells created by Katarina Book Design. The have have your subjects kiss your royal jewels when you wear this pretty gemstone ring from Geo Central. It's made of genuine agate. I can't say agate agate stone. Um, crafty Dan, we got the magnetic bookmarks. Um, could you survive with this fairy quartz? Hide your treasure and keepsakes inside this beautiful exclusive book tin. Designed with love by Stellish Bookish, Bookish Art, featuring artwork inspired by the cool prints. So that's that. So that's this. Um, and then we got the tea towel, created by Little Inkling Designs. Um, and then we got the signed book plate. I mean, sign plate. We got the book, uh, the letter, and the bookmark. Yeah. And I'll just give you another close-up of this if I didn't give it to you before. Let me just... So what it looks like, the front of it, the sides, the back. I tried to read the cool prints. I just didn't like it, but I do like this a lot, actually. I think this is the reason why a lot of people did get the box was because of this. Very cute. Um, For me, this, this box, I would say... 
I didn't hate it. I was just, I think the first box I was more excited because it was my first box. And I was really excited for Plain Jane. This one, um, I'm really not into the whole royal theme. So this to me was kind of like, it was an okay box. I mean, most of the themes, like the Throne of Glass, I haven't read yet. And the Bells, I read a little bit of and didn't like it. So, I mean, it was a hit or miss for me. I mean, I did like everything I got. I mean, the ring I'll probably wear, but just have to be careful it doesn't break. Because, again, it's a huge ring. Um, the bookmarks I'll definitely use. Um, the tea towel, I'm going to hang that up. So, everything I definitely will use. I was just, I, for some reason, I thought it would be... I don't know. I thought it would be more exciting, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is... I'm going to tell you about what this book is about. Sorry. I was so excited about everything else. Um, okay, this book. I believe it's about two sisters. Um, Serena... Ter yeah, Serena has been groomed her whole life to become... A grace, someone to stand by the heir to the throne as a shining. So I begin with examples of the perfect woman, and it's her chance to secure a better life for her family and to keep her headstrong and rebellious young sister, Nomi, out of trouble. But when Nomi catches the heir's eye instead, Serena is the one who takes the fall for the dangerous secrets her sister has been hiding. Trapped in a life she never wanted, Nomi has only one option, surrender to her role as a, as a grace, until she can use her position to save Serena. But this is but this is easier said than done. A traitor walks the halls of the Palazzo and deception lurks in every corner. Meanwhile, Serena is running out of time in prison on, on an, an island where she must fight to the death to survive. Surrounded by women stronger than she is, one wrong move could cost her everything. There is no room for weakness on Mount Rune, especially weakness of the heart. Brilliant and Captivating Grace and Fury is a story of fierce sisterhood and survival in a world that determines to break you. And it's very short, so I'm going to read this on audiobooks because that's how I kind of like to read my books now. But yeah, alternating chapters, audiobook, and I'm going to use my bookmark. And uh, probably the next book that I read, I'm going to get some coffee. And that's probably what I'm going to read. And I'm going to put my mirror in my bag. And yeah, this box is really... I liked it. Um, I I did like it. Again, theme wasn't the, my greatest theme, but um, like the next theme is got Harry Potter related stuff in it, which I'm excited about. I think the other, I forgot what the other theme was about. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. I think a lot of people will really like this. And you don't have to like The Cruel Prince, like I didn't like it, to actually enjoy this. Like I like how they put... Like some of like the cruel prince thing in the back. So if you don't like the cruel prince, you still can have it like something book related in the front. And they could just like slide into your books. I think it's I think it was really cute and thought out. I actually really like it. One thing is I kinda wish it would open up just a little bit more because it kinda like this gets stuck right there, it doesn't open up anymore. But other than that, I really do like it. So hope you guys like my unboxing and I'll see you back um Sunday for my update. Alright. Like I always say, guys, keep calm, read on, shop on, and be kind to each other. Bye, guys.